Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Brian, we are back, and we have another Keg and Bottle Bourbon Pursuit barrel selection that we are gonna talk about. This one comes from Savage and Cook's The Burning Chair Bourbon line. This is a custom barrel uh, selected for Bourbon Pursuit, Keg and Bottle, and it is, it is a single bottle that is finished in a Grenache cask. And this is coming in at 59.1%. Um, if you're not familiar with Savage and Cook, this is uh, from Dave Finney. Uh, among other things is the, the creator of the Prisoner Wine. Uh, and so we are hoping that we are going to be looking at a product in this glass that really does finishing well. That would be the hope. Nice golden orange hue to it. And man, right away on the nose. Now, I would suggest leaving this in the glass for say 10 minutes or so before you dive into it. And especially as this bottle opens up, it really unpacks a lot of flavor. So I'll tell you that right away. But there's a huge bouquet right on the nose. You get honey, you get caramel, you get fig, you get orange blossom, you get um, rum raisin, cake, you get browned butter, you get a little bit of floral in there, oh, toffee, strawberry, there's this, there's this deep um, uh, thing to the nose that just kind of keeps drawing you in, it smells like it's going to be very saturated on the palate, and then lingering on the nose is kind of a mold spiced wine, spiced cider thing on the nose. Let's go ahead and go into the palate. The palate is big right away. It's saturating everywhere on the palate. It's dense, it is chewy. It's both, wow, I just did a, a little flip where, where it drew out a little bit more oak and a little bit more tannins. Man, it's got, it, it seems to split in different directions. On one side, it's honey, it's chewy, it's sweet, it's drinkable, it's playful. But on the other side, it's wine soaked, it's fig, it's orange marmalade, it's prickly, it's spiced, it's got more of that kind of that brown butter I talked about, touch of leather, touch of clove, touch of oak. So there's two uh, different sides to the pour that are very well integrated with one another, but they do kind of split off and it's, you know, maybe the front of the pour starts off playful and then introduces a lot of complex flavors that add a lot of nuance, a lot of depth to this pour. And it's so buttery in texture. It's so juicy as it finishes. It finishes with these kind of drying plum notes, these drying fig and almost blackberry-like notes, um, kind of juicy and as Fred Minnick would say, it, it kind of drips along the draw the jawline, and it does. It's it's very slow and it's very saturated, and it, it it's very weighty in the mouth. The finish is very long, very rich, very full. Um, lingers with a nice bit of spice. Man, this is this is very enjoyable. Maple sugar, cane sugar. French toast. Again, with that orange marmalade kind of coming in there, both spiced and juicy and citrusy. And then, yeah, lingering uh, on and on and on and on. I think one of the most dangerous things about this is that it's 59.1%. If you want something that drinks very easy while still being robust, tons of flavor, if you are one who likes um, wine finishes on there, um, I'm not necessarily a Grenache drinker, but you can tell that this has a finishing and not necessarily in a in a distracting way. I think you'll notice it from the tannins. I think you'll notice it from the dried fruits and the juicy fruit 
uh, flavors that kind of saturate the palette. I think you're going to be able to tell that that is in here, but it also seems like it starts with really good um, base juice as well. And so they marry really well together. Uh, guys, I, I really enjoy this pour. Uh, one of my favorite finished whiskeys that I have um, tried in this vein uh, in some time. So big fan of this one. And if that sounds good to you, uh, this will obviously be on the product page and the link will be down below for how you can pick up some of this Savage and Cook burning chair from folks at Bourbon Pursuit and Keg and Bottle. Thanks again for letting me take a chance at talking about this bottle with you all. Again, guys, it's been my pleasure. Feel free to jump down below and check out some links about where you can get access to Cake and Bottle Picks, where you can get access to the Bourbon Pursuit channels, and all of those links down below. Until next time, everyone, we'll see you all later.